afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Swoosh. I'm here to review the SPY. Wanted to take a look at the SPY here today because we had a gap up uh, this morning. And as you know, I trade and read gaps. So let's take a look at it. We closed here with a red body bar today, actually. So we had, we had follow through, which we really needed to see. And the way that we closed on Friday, we had to have follow through up in here or we we were gonna come all the way down in here. So actually the fact that we closed with the red body bar today, uh, bearishly and the look of the candlestick of the bar, this actually was a bullish move for the market overall in the day. Because if we had not done this, we would have continued to fall and proceed all the way down into this area. So I know it doesn't look great the way we closed, but the fact is this is bullish, okay? Because we closed on Friday at 206.52. We did exactly what we needed to do, which was to gap up, and it was a decent size gap up. It was like $2 and a quarter. And this isn't a gap that I would have gone long. I mean, I wouldn't have gone aggressively long this gap. So this isn't like an intraday long here at all. Uh, but, you know, in the overall chart, this gap today cemented and just continues to confirm that we are in fact higher. It's a beautiful gap that just came into support and did a little teeny weeny sell off on the intraday into the support. This is it. Let me just see where we closed. Yeah, so it's like 60 some cents. But we held, we held in a 50 frame moving average right in here. So once again, we're waiting, waiting, waiting. When are we going to get up over the high? Nobody knows. Here it is. It's June 20th. I certainly thought that we would do this long ago. The way we started the year, though, when we dropped, it's just taken us a while to get up on over the high. The move up here actually happened very quickly. When we retested in February and bounced up and ran up here, it was almost like a vertical move. But then ever since then, it was about mid, actually, look at this, 420. Wow, April to May, May to June, two months. So for two solid months, we've been in this back and forth area. It looked like we were going to get up over the high here beginning of June. I thought we would, but then we didn't. And when we came into here, then we just, we just didn't continue higher immediately. So we'll have to see what we do now the next week. We got this week and we got next week until the July 4th holiday. Could we get up over the high before the end of the month of June? Absolutely, yes. We got plenty of trading days left for that. Anything could happen. We got some big reports out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week that could move the market. And, and the fact that we gapped up today, I mean, this is just bullish. It's bullish. So I wouldn't have gone long intraday this at all. It just was a bad gap to play long intraday. But in the overall trend, it's a support. It's holding. It looks beautiful. It was a bullish gap that just confirmed that we're following through to the upside. I don't think we pulled it down here. I never thought we would have, but we could have. It just would have taken us longer to get over the high. This is, looks good for the week to be to follow through in here. So I don't know where we open tomorrow. It's like a weird look here to this. We could just open neutral tomorrow, just rally in the live day up and then follow through. That would be the nicest thing for us to do. And then you could go on the market actually aggressively tomorrow. Today was not a day to do that. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Watch the spy. We could hit up on over the high and make a brand new all-time high before the end of the month. We got time to do it. But we're definitely holding and, and it's going to happen soon soon have a great day everyone if you're interested in the golden gap class it's this weekend june 25th and 26th email me at melissa at the .com if you'd like to learn my method on gaps it's the reason that i predicted this market so beautifully to continue to rally and gap up like you did today have a good day everyone